I wondered if you could tell us um, a little bit about how you became involved in the project and how it differs maybe from a, a script that you'd be writing completely from scratch uh, from the start. Mm. Sure. Well, I am quite a rare bread, I guess. So for a living, I am a comedy writer, which means I have to sit in a room in sealed isolation on myself, feeling alienated and lonely and sorry for myself, and then be funny. <laughs> and I write for Radio 4 comedies like The Now Show, The New Squiz. But really, the day job is writing humour books. And I have a book published this month, in fact, about the world's stupidest criminals called As Thick As Thieves, featuring people like, people like the man who handed himself in to claim the reward money. <laughs> Don't do that, it doesn't work. <laughs> And because of my work with that, the producers of Fuseball contacted me and said that we would like the script sort of gagged up. There's a number of excellent jokes for a Latin American audience, but they really wouldn't work for a British audience or an English-speaking audience, more exactly. So I was brought in there to, yeah, to, to not repair the script, it was an excellent script, but to change it and make it more sort of European-friendly. Mm -hmm. And it was ext an extremely difficult process because, of course, the script, well, the animation is locked, so if I write any new jokes with setups and payoffs, I've then got to sandpaper down my new lines so they fit the beats to the bar of the lip syncing, even down to the syllables and the vowel movements of the characters' mouths. So it's not, it wasn't a project for the work shy, definitely. You had to put in the effort, work at it, and I'm extremely proud of the result. Although. When going to a premiere, I think it's okay for the actors and the producers and the directors they can kind of relax smugly because their work's done. But with a writer, you will think, this is the moment when I find out that 3,000 people don't think my work's funny. <laughs> and it seems like a, an incredibly technically challenging job for you in terms of fitting your writing to the, to the animation. Is there anything that you feel like you've learned from or, or developed um, as a skill specifically from this project? Uh, question. I I suppose I have learnt for an incredible amount of respect for the uh, one Jose Campanella's vision as a director and the, the, the Argentinian sense of humour, which uh, I, I've understood and somewhat unlocked during the process. But I would say, yeah, I mean, that's a good rule of comedy writing is always try and get to the funny as quickly as possible. And, and in this, because uh, Latin and Spanish speaking people tend to speak at quite what we would think was a rattling uh, velocity. Uh, the script for this is very long. It comes in at about a good 30 to 40 pages longer than most movie scripts. I mean, it is packed with a dialogue. And so I guess I learned to, yeah, to, to file down the jokes. And, and certainly, I mean, one, I'd actually say one sequence, there's probably a genuine world record attempt for the most jokes in one minute of movie time. Because the GPM, the gags per minute ratio in this film, is huge. <laughs> And what was the experience of working with Juan like? I mean, was he helpful in terms of your process? Yeah, absolutely, yes. I mean, we sent enormous amounts of emails to each other. He looked at the drafts and all of the rewrites. And, uh, and, I th and we had a lot of respect for each other, which was, I think, uh, deservedly one on each side. And also, he trusted me to an extent as well to know what was going to work for an English audience. But also I learned a lot from him by listening and working out that actually I could be true to his vision as well. And I could see what he was trying to do with an Argentinian audience. And in the end I concluded that maybe there isn't this great cultural difference at all. I mean, maybe we are united by football, but also the world's united by humour. Everyone, every human likes a laugh. After all, we are all are from planet human. Mm -hmm. And how did you feel when you finally heard the, the actors like Rob and Alex uh, delivering the lines that you'd written? How, what was your experience of, of, of listening to that and watching the film? That was marvellous because it's genuinely the voice that you have in your head when you're writing them because you also think an actor can give an extra spin, add an additional cylinder to your lines that you're capable of doing and it was absolutely marvellous to hear them do that, it really was.